before solving this question, uh, this question has to do with taking averages. Now, uh, the first thing I need to teach you is how do you take the average value? Now, they, uh, you already know how to take the average value. For example, if you have, uh, if you have these numbers, so you have four numbers, and you can easily figure out that the average value would be you add up the numbers and you divide, it, divide the numbers by four. So you sum up the numbers. So the average value is going to be equal to, it's going to be two plus two plus three plus three, sum up all the numbers and you divide all of them by four. That's the total number. And the answer that you're going to get is 2.5. So that's the average of the values. Now there's another way of uh, method of uh, taking out average and calculating the average value and that is so the average value is basically going to be equal to the percentage of a particular multiplied by the value and you're going to sum them up. So I'm going to explain this uh, formula that I've written over here. Uh, the average value is basically the percentage uh, times the value is appearing and you sum up all the values. So for example, if you look at the four values over here, you basically have two values. One of the value is two and the other one is three. 50% of the time in your sample, you have the number three appearing and 50% of the time you in your sample, you have the number two appearing. So the abundance of this value 2 is 50% the abundance of this value 3 is also 50% in your sample. So what you can do is instead of using the uh, often tried method of adding up the values and dividing by 4, if you have a very large quantity of values, now you can do this for just 4 values, but if you have thousands and billions of different values and you have to sum, sum them up and find the average, what you can do is you can find the percentage times that value is appearing in the sample. 50% of the time it's three, 50% of the time it's two. So what you can do, do is 50% of the time, so 50% would be 50 divided by 100, the value is two. And then you're going to sum them up because you're going to sum up all the values. 50% of the time the value is three. And if you solve this, the answer that you're going to get is 2.5. So this over here is another method of taking out or calculating average values. So let's highlight this. And always remember this, this is a much better method of taking average values because if you if you have a sample that is very, very large, so instead of adding up all the sample and then dividing by four, uh, what you can do is you can just find uh, which values are coming and what are the percentage or the abundance of those values and then you can sum, multiply them and sum them up and you're going to get the average value of all the sample. Now coming back to the question, the question states that you have uh, the approximate percentage composition of the atmosphere on four different planets is given. So for Jupiter it's given that hydrogen is 89.8% and helium is 10.2%. Neptune is 80% uh, hydrogen, 19% helium and 1% methane and so uh, Saturn and Uranus, that's uh, the percentage composition of the atmosphere is given and the density of a gas may be defined as the mass of 1 dmq of the gas measured at STP. Now since all gases occupy almost the same volume, so, so uh, density is mass over volume but since the volume is the same, uh, so we're basically going to focus on uh, on the mass because density is mass over volume but since gases have the same volume so density would become proportional to mass so we need to find the question is stating which mixture of gases has the greatest density so we've already uh, stated the density is proportional to mass so we're going to figure out which one of the atmospheres is the heaviest atmosphere now uh, there needs to be some elimination that needs to be done as well because if you look at the composition of the gas, you'll notice that uh, hydrogen has a mass of 2, an MR of 2. Helium, on the other hand, has an MR of, uh, an AR of 4. And methane has an MR of 16. So helium is 4. 
and hydrogen is 2. Now the heaviest gases or the heaviest gas in this sample is going to be methane. So you need to do, you don't need to actually solve all the four MCQs. What you need to do is you need to use some sort of strategy to eliminate some of the MCQs, uh, some of the options in the MCQ. Now the one way, to, one way to eliminate is by figuring out that we're looking for the heaviest mass or the heaviest density. So it's going to contain the heaviest gas. So the first option cannot be correct because the first atmosphere, the atmosphere of Jupiter has the gases that have the least mass, four and two. So it must be uh, something, it has, it should uh, contain methane. So you're going to look for the gases or look for the atmosphere which uh, has the greatest amount of methane. So let's boil our question down to Neptune and Uranus. Let's remove Saturn as well because Saturn has a lot of hydrogen and hydrogen is a light gas. It only has an MR of 2. So, and methane is very little in Saturn. So let's uh, remove Saturn and Jupiter because uh, Jupiter has no methane. So it, it, it only contains the lightest gases. Saturn also has the lightest gases. It has very little methane. So we can pretty much uh, boil our question down to ne Neptune and Uranus. So we need to figure out whether Neptune is heavier, the atmosphere is heavier, or Uranus is heavier. Now using this formula of average value, uh, we're going to try and calculate the average mass of, all, of the atmosphere of Neptune. So, so we're going to start doing our working now on Neptune. Now if you look at Neptune, and we're going to try and find the average AR or MR of uh, the gases of Neptune. So it's going to be 80% is uh, hydrogen. So 80% is 80 divided by 100. And hydrogen has a mass of 2. So that's hydrogen. Plus 19% is, so 19 over 100 is helium. So that's into 4. Plus you have 1%. So 1% 1 is 1 over 100. Methane. Methane is uh, CH4 and the, and the average and the mass of methane is 16. So 80% hydrogen, 19% helium and 1% methane. So we want to find the average MR. So it's 80 over 100 into 2 and that would give us the average value. We can also calculate, try and calculate the, the average mass of Uranus. So if we do that, so if we try and calculate the average MR of all the gases in Uranus, it's going to be 82.5% is hydrogen. So that has an MR of 2. 15.2% is helium. So 15.2 divided by 100 into 4 plus 2.3% over 100 is methane. Now, even if you, without solving this question, if, even if you look at the question, uh, what you would notice is that this question has, the Uranus has more methane. So you can pretty much guess that Uranus might be the answer to this question, but we would be solving this question. So let's try and solve this question. So it's going to be, uh, let's try uh, and solve Neptune first. So it's going to be 80 divided by 100. And you're going to multiply that by 2. Plus, it's going to be uh, 19 over 100 into 4. And then you're going to add uh, 1 over 100 into 16. Divided by 100. So the answer that I'm getting is... 2.52 so the average mass of all the gases on Neptune is going to be 2.52 similarly we can find I'm going to try and do the calculations for Uranus now so it's uh, 82.5 into 100 into 2 so it's uh, 82.5 divided by 100 Plus, it's going to be 15.2 over 100 into 4. 
so 15.2 divided by 100 and plus it's 2.3 over 100 into 16 so 2.3 divided by 100 and into 16 and the answer that I'm getting is 2.626 grams so pretty close 2.626 grams so it's pretty close but Uranus has as we guessed correctly initially without the calculations Uranus has a heavier atmosphere so the answer is going to be it's going to be D